Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas, and if you're watching this video now, that means you have exclusive access to the July Christmas cards. This is the first one I'm going to share with you today, so let's get the parts and pieces together and let's get started. The first thing I did was I took a cardstock, just a white piece of cardstock, it's cut to 11 by 4 and a fourth, scored in the middle, folded in half. I used the tulip frame border with the Big Shot die cutting machine to get that embossed image. If you're not sure how to emboss, I do have a video called How to Emboss with the Big Shot, so be sure to check that out. Let's first get started with the sentiment. The Merry Christmas comes from the Sassy Salutations stamp set. It looks like this. This is one of my all-time favorites. And what we're going to do is you've got to get your little embossing buddy. This little guy like has a powder in it. And all you're going to do is just kind of a tap and then rub that on there. That keeps the embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it to stick. We're going to be using the Versamark ink pad. And I've got my stamp already on a clear block ready to go. Versamark is a very wet, uh, juicy ink and it can be very sticky. So when you're inking up an image like this with Versamark, if your um, stamp comes off the clear block, kind of like you can already see mine just coming up just a little bit, you can actually take just a little bit of snail adhesive and run it on the back of that stamped image, and it'll really stick well. So let's go ahead and stamp that. I'm going to get my silver embossing powder. I kind of have things every which way for this video. I keep all my embossing powders in its own little container and I never have to worry about pouring it back into the container. I just pour it in one of these little plastic guys. Flick the back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright. We're going to need our heat tool. And we'll heat this up. And I would not heat it on the table, actually lift it up. All right, that looks pretty good, and you can almost see the embossing powder go from kind of a matte finish to a real shiny and that kind of tells you it's done. Now I'm going to set both of those aside. Let's work on the ornaments. Now the ornaments are the hot air balloon. So what I've done, I've got a couple red ones made but we're going to work on the green ones right now. So here's a green one I've done and the only thing different with the embossing technique is just use clear embossing ink. That's all there is to it. So you're going to stamp the top of the balloon with Versamark, put clear embossing powder on it. Then you're going to take your 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch, go in here, line that up. You'll have just a little bit of an edge on it, like that. Now, the last little tip I want to show you is how to create the little ornament topper. That is the bottom of the hot air balloon. And what I did is I just inked it up again with Versamark, but this time I would just stamp like just about that much, cover it with the silver embossing powder, and then you just basically Cut that out and it doesn't even have to be trimmed real close because the nice thing is you're stamping on white and we're putting it on white so you really don't see you really don't see the cut part. Take a glue dot. I stuck a glue dot onto that so then it'll just anywhere on the circle is fine. This one I did do some dimensionals behind it. Sorry about that. So we'll put a couple dimensionals behind the green ornament, but the red ornaments I'm just going to use snail adhesive to stick those down. Alright, so see it's actually coming together rather quickly. So you take some of your 
snail. We'll put one going that way. And then one there. Just leave a little bit of a separation. And then with the green, let's get the backing off from the dimensionals. Put that kind of up and in the middle. And then the last thing is the ribbon. This is the cherry cobbler seam binding. I'm just going to run it through. Now, of course, on my sample card, the bow turned out super cute. And then when I try to show you how to actually do that, I don't know what I did. But let's do our best here tying the bow. Just like this. Hold that in place while I tuck that through. Hmm. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And then just trim your extra. And you are ready to go. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure to check out the cards for August as well. They'll be coming soon. Happy Christmas, Stampin'.